let's get physical. It's July the 31st until August the 4th. Now, once again, a bit of a quick one. I'll explain in more detail at the end of the episode if you're interested in why. But yeah, sorry for the quickie again. This week, we've got Tunic. Well, actually, that's a game that released last week. I missed this one because, uh, well, Amazon is just rubbish and they just didn't show me it. Anyways, this is a long-awaited physical release of an indie darling. A lot of people loved this game when it originally released as an Xbox exclusive before coming to the Switch six months later. This is a very mysterious game and relies on the player using their brain power, which I think offended some people, but heed them not because this is a damn essential game and getting it on the Switch is a fine option. You like a bit of old school Zelda, then get this. And I believe this is only available in North America. I don't know what's happening with Europe. But our executive producers, Offbone, Alex M, Cartoon Soren, Precision Plague, and Totally Grateful have chosen this as their pick of the week. And if you want to order this or any of the retail releases in this week's episode, check the links in the description, especially if you live in North America. VGP is a great way to support this series. Plus, they have good prices in favorable Canadian money and free shipping worldwide over 80 Canadian bucks. That's almost nothing, really. And if you purchase anything with our links, you can be in with the chance of winning a $10 discount coupon each week. Yeah, and this week's winner is War Why. Congratulations, you will get an email from VGP in the coming days, and you can, uh, yeah, you'll have your discount coupon in there. Akai Katana Shin is releasing in Europe this week. Remember, Limited Run did this in North America and Asia? Well, they were laughing from across the land and seas for a decent while. It's been out ages there. This is a pretty great shooter, and if you don't have it already, then I'm sure you'll have to add this to your collection if you're a shmup fiend. But like I said, you probably have it already. I'm just surprised this is a retail release. I mean, if something as massively niche as this can be fine with a retail release, then so can everything else. And our executive producer, Punky Dooster, chosen this as his pick of the week. I keep his trip undead and undressed he is releasing physically in North America this week. Bit of tug of war between the continents this week, although I think Mexico, US, and Canada, they ain't got shit on like three drunken Estonians. Believe me, I've tried. Anyways, this released in Japan and Asia already, but uh, not so long ago. And I believe this is the second game in the Akiba's Trip series, which is something you'll either enjoy for the schlock or despise for the schlock. And our executive producers, Jennifer M, Osgolo, and Robotech have chosen this as their pick of the week. Gimmick Special Edition is releasing in Europe this week, if it hasn't already. Again, Limited Runner handling this in North America. Gimmick returns from his 30-year slumber of being one of the most highly rated NES platformers of all time. Great mechanics, decent challenge, and now it's got some bells and whistles to make it more bearable for modern gamers. Alright, The Low Prince. Super Zangura is Red Hot Games' latest Switch release. This is a cute looking action platformer, a better Castlevania but erring more on parody. Not a huge fan of the art style, but I'm sure it's fun to play. I mean, who doesn't want to shoot a statue of a pissing baby in the knob? There's almost zero reviews for this game. I mean, it's not even on Steam, so it's all a bit, you know, a bit of a baby blasting mystery. You can pre-order this from redartgames.com with the links in the description if you want to support us. And you can also get 10% off with S-Watch 10. Or, if you're in North America, you can also grab it from Video Games Plus, also with the links below. And thanks very much. Parasol Stars is Strictly Limited's latest Switch release, up for pre-order right now. This is your classic arcade platformer style game, a bit like Bubble Bubble in some aspects, as you'd expect because it's from Taito and it's often considered to be Bubble Bubble 3. In fact it is, I don't know what I'm talking about. Colourful, crazy, overwhelming nonsense, a decent amount of fun especially if you play in multiplayer. Worth a physical purchase for a TurboGrafx-16 ROM? Well, that's, uh, that's up to you. There's a standard edition and a collector's edition, and as far as I'm aware, Strictly still have the free shipping offer going on, so you might want to take advantage of that. And our executive producer, Instacritic, has chosen this as his pick of the week. Orbital Bullet is Super Rare's game this week. This is a unique looking roguelike as you run on a circular arena that reminds me of like Kirby 64 bosses and almost certainly almost every other 2.5D platformer. But this is all about kick ass action with skill trees and stuff. This is very highly positively received and you know will be available on Super Rare's website on Thursday. Only 3,000 copies available, so it might not last too long, but 
to be honest. I don't know what the consensus on the hype level is for this one. I'm just not getting a great feeling for it. So yeah, wait at your own risk. And our executive producer, Parsnip Coffee and God of Resin have chosen this as their pick of the week. Now in terms of imports this week, there's almost nothing. There's only Alice in the County of Spades, uh, which doesn't have English. And in Asia, there's Tiny Troopers Global Ops, which the West already has. But before I end this uh, video, uh, I want to give a shout out to a couple of things. Firstly, God Wars. You may be aware this game is being delisted from the eShop. They announced that a few months back and since the physical release then, uh, it's been quite expensive. But before the license expires, Video Game Plus have come to the rescue with a very affordable reprint. It's currently on back order and this may be your last chance to get it brand new at a decent, very cheap price I would say because you know what those scalpers are like. And the same with Nobunaga's Ambition. I had at least like four or five comments saying how they were disappointed the Asian English version of Nobunaga's Ambition sold out before payday. We've all been there. Well, at the time of writing this on Sunday, VGP have a handful of copies, uh, the one that you want with English. Obviously, I got mine from Play Asia, but that's sold out, so VGP may be your best opportunity if you want it. It looks good, and it's, uh, yeah, it's very nice. Go check it out if you don't want to miss it. And that's it. Once again, there's no spotlight this week. I apologize. In fact, since it's so out of date now, I won't use any of the pictures you've sent already. If you want me to, like, really show that one, then you might want to send it again just so I know, okay? Just... One more time, any picture you've sent so far, I won't use it, okay? Send another one, okay? Uh, but yeah, what happened? Well, as you may or may not know, after visiting me for a month here in China, my mother traveled home at the weekend. At least that was the plan, what she was supposed to do, until a typhoon hit China and disrupted everything. Her flight to Beijing kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed, until finally she arrived, at which point she missed her flight to the UK. And because it wasn't technically a connecting flight with the same company, there's almost nothing that could be done. She was in Beijing at like midnight, there's no plane to go to, she didn't have a hotel or anything, and a travel agency wanted almost £1,000 to fix the situation. Don't use travelup.com guys, okay? Don't use them, they are scumbags. Uh, so after hours and hours of messing around, uh, we had to buy another flight for her and stick her in a hotel for a couple of days in Beijing and we spent Almost every second trying to fix it and find an alternative way. It's cost us a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of energy. We're all just kind of like down in the dumps right now. And I just don't have the means to make this into a proper episode. So I hope you understand. It's been a, a living nightmare, really. So yeah, that's, that's why this week is not a good week. Not only because the games are a bit rubbish this week, but that's just my opinion. Special thanks to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Boombox, Brent McLean, Santa Tartaruga, Alexander Kato, J Cross 7776, Punky Dooster, Cartoon Soren, Robotech Z, Raven Knight, Thorn Metal Luna, Parsnip Coffee, Isa, They, Mental Traveler, Off Bone, Jennifer M, Instacritic, Prisoner of Plague, Karacha, Osgolo, Totally Grateful, and Alex M. Plus you, yeah, you're watching right now. If you watched all the way through, please leave me an umbrella emoji, not only because of Parasol Stars, but also because of the torrential rain in Beijing that's stopping every plane and stuff like that that's made my life a living hell and uh, yeah I'll see you some soon okay take care goodbye